And what does it mean for Manchester City's alleged 115 charges? Well, um, really, they're saying nothing. They're being very tight-lipped. Um, once again, the whole issue of Man City's charges being brought up again in the media because this seems to be the biggest story going right now in terms of the points deductions. And the question is, you know, when will it happen? I mean, still, we're seeing it put into the long grass. We're not seeing any transparency from Richard Masters as to when it's going to be heard. Uh, we're being told a date next year. Could it go into 2026? And then you're talking about you know a lengthy appeal process. Um, it's hard to know what's going to happen with that. I still believe that additional legal resources could have been brought in. I think they could have categorized some of these charges into different groups. So there's maybe only five types of charges, group them together. Because the number 115 sounds a lot. But if it's only four or five different categories of uh, with maybe you know 10 or 15 charges under the same category, then it doesn't seem so hard to handle. Uh, but we know that uh, City have been lawyering up and have uh, spent a lot of resource on this. I'd certainly like to see how their legal bills are being accounted for and how they're measured within their own accounts and see actually what they spent and how that's been handled. I'd love to see that. Is that something, Keith, do you think that needs to be done? Does there need to be effectively a public hearing while this is going on for the integrity of the league? Well, it would have helped if a lot more had been done in public and there had been more transparency. Certainly, I'm still of the opinion that I'm just so disappointed not to have heard from the chairman of the Premier League. This is such a key issue. Uh, I mean, you know, today's the day we've got the independent regulator. We're seeing football back, front and forward in the whole public consciousness. And so the Premier League has the duty to, to make things as public as possible. Certainly, these 50-page you know, reports on, on the actual hearings themselves have been helpful, but they've raised more questions than they've answered. So transparency is always good, and it's the, the best way forward for the Premier League to try and regain any scrap of reputation they can try and save. Yes, Keith. So one of the points in the latest Forest Commission that, that was mentioned was that where a PSR breach is minor, then it says effectively... They, if, if, if a case is deemed as minor, an other commission might come in to determine if a points deduction is necessary, where a sanction would come in. But for something described as major, then they believe a very severe sanction, such as expulsion, could be appropriate. Does that then leave City effectively in a rock and a hard place because of the alleged cases? I mean, I know you've said that you might group up into four or five different categories. Where do they go with that? Well, it's very interesting you bring that up because for the first time I noticed that word in a report, expulsion. And that's exactly what uh, went to my head straight away when I saw that. And I thought City must be seeing that word also for the first time. And, you know, we don't know yet. Listen, they've got every right to plead the case and they've got every right to give the right forum to plead the case. But expulsion does seem to be an option uh, given the severity of what's supposedly being done. But uh, we've yet to see the evidence. So, uh, but we need to get it going quicker and sooner rather than later. Do you think they, is it fair to say as well, given the reaction of fans from both Everton and Forest actually, and, and I think the club's reactions too, should the fans be worried? Should there be a real concern that actually expulsion, as was stated in that case, could actually be a reality? It's not just some word that we're now speaking about. Well, certainly. I mean, we've seen it with the Rangers uh, in Scotland with their employee benefit problems and the tax situation. And that was, you know, that was expulsion and going down a few leagues. I think uh, for you know the way it would kick off would be incredible with City. I understand that it'd be a, it'd be an earthquake, uh, incredible. But I, I think it's got to be an option. See, the Premier League again have got themselves into a corner here. When you start giving a ten-point penalty for Everton, which is greater than falling into administration, where do you go after that with something bigger than that? So they're leaving themselves no room for manoeuvre. And. Masters, I know we've discussed in previous weeks, effectively has come out and said that the date will be set for the proceeding, but we don't yet know what that date is going to be. Now, he did also mention about the volume and character of the charges he can't talk about, but it's in a completely different stratosphere to both Everton and Forest. Do you think the Premier League will be aware of that and actually the sporting integrity of the league, if they are to expel them or to, to say even drop them down, whether it's to two leagues or the non-league, however far, Will they be concerned that that effectively could then for damage the reputation of the league for the foreseeable future? Yeah, look, there's no doubt. Uh, but again, the only thing I can compare it to is the Rangers situation where the SPL, I mean, can you imagine how difficult it was to take one of the old firm and, and kick them out of the league? Uh, and yet the whole thing didn't fall apart. It, you know, Rangers made their way back up the leagues and it was a punishment. 
And I'm pretty sure Rangers won't be doing the same thing again. So maybe it did work. Uh, I think City, if it's proven, then, of course, they're going to have to take their punishment. Uh, it, But we've yet to see. So, I mean, I can't judge it all. All I can do is go on what I've read so far, what the charges are, and the leaks that came out before that made a lot of this go forward. So we, we'll, we're really going to have a, you know some popcorn and sit by the uh, the side watching this one. It's going to be a classic. <laughs> it's going to be a classic. I like it. When do we anticipate, Keith, it will be done? If you had to make a prediction, do you think it will be by the end of the 2024-25 season? Will it be going into 2026? Just how long is it going to take? I think it's going to go into 26. Is my I think we're going to be seeing sort of hearings around early 2026. I think that will go on for some time. Then I think the uh, there will be stalling tactics around the appeal and the the whole judgment. I think whereas we've got 50-page judgments here with Everton and Forest, we're going to have 500-page judgments around City. It could be even more than that. So it's going to keep the lawyers very rich and they're going to have a very good time and have some great bonuses coming for them, I think. And it's all so tragic for football. Would they break that down, Keith, into, would it be, say, take it 500? Would it be... Uh, 10 documents of 50 pages how would or would it simply just be a wad of you know would would we be spending hours and days reading over this case effectively yeah i think we will be i think obviously the 115 charges will all be categorized whether they're broken down into sections i presume they will be in terms of similar types of charge and each one will have to be uh, you know gone through in rigorous detail because this is a pretty serious uh, situation and Man City, of course, will be able to jump on anything that is done in, in the wrong way, quite rightly. And uh, it's going to be difficult. But yes, I, I expect it to be war and peace in terms of coming out there, definitely. Do you think it could have any bearing as well on Pep Guardiola's future at the club? I mean, if anything really serious is to happen, if they if they do find out from next season, provided that he would still be there at that point in, in post, would he potentially leave? Would that drive him potentially to go? Well, I think I'm correct in saying that he's already said that he's been given assurances that nothing was done wrong and that if he found that not to be the case, then he would go. Uh, I think that's been his words himself uh, on that situation. So it may have a lot of ramifications. I'm sure Pep wouldn't want to manage a club in, in League Two. Uh, so I think he probably would go. And, uh, you know, it's not really going to work very well for him, is it? No. And we'll move on. 